in Barry Mitchell at the Central Park Zoo. Today we're going to meet a scientist who chucked it all for a life in comedy. Dr. Tim Lee, coming up on Science and You. Oil companies are giving out gas-saving advice that they know you're not going to use. Did you know if you drove 55 instead of 65 on the freeway, you could get an extra 30 to 60 miles to the tank? Which is true, because you would actually get pushed forward by the honking noise. How does one give up a career in science for the life of a comedian? Uh, you get tired of reading and writing papers, and then you decide to do something else. Science is straight logic and comedy is twisted logic. So uh, it wasn't that big of a difference for me. And the speaking part was pretty easy because I used to give talks in front of smart people who try and pick apart my logic. And now I give talks in front of drunk people who try and pick apart my jokes. <laughs> so pretty natural transition. And your field of expertise was? Ecology and evolution. I did mostly mathematical biology. So uh, explain what that is. It's like population dynamics, trying to estimate population size. This is one of the things uh, I helped work on uh, with the seals. Sea lions and oceanography figures into your past before you became a comedian. Tell us. That's right. I was a biologist. I worked uh, actually for the National Marine Fisheries Service at Scripps Institute of Oceanography. And we worked on, among other things, Zilophus californicus right here, a uh, California sea lion. And uh, they're an amazing animal. They were endangered at one point, hunted to near extinction for their skins and oil. Um, but they've made a, a comeback. They struggle with two major predators, which is the great white shark and then uh, the killer whales. So you weren't uh, observing them uh, in a tank like this. You were observing them in the wild. Yeah, in the wild, out of the Channel Islands and anywhere along the California coast, yeah. My porta potty behavior determined entirely uh, by this ratio. How did you hit upon the idea of using PowerPoint as one of your props? A lot of the times people don't understand the, the premise of the joke that we're trying to make because science can be obscure for some people. So with PowerPoint I can explain to them the principles and then they can get the joke I want to make. Young women also start off in a superficial stage uh, at which point they put a 90% uh, weighting on social status, a uh, minus 10% weighting on personality. 20% waiting on the car the guy drives. Who is your audience? My audience, uh, you know, I think the youngest, you know, sort of fan would be maybe 14, 15, and then uh, all the way up in the 70s, 80s. People who are a little bit nerdy, even if they don't look nerdy, they think nerdy, and uh, they have an interest in science. I don't want my comedy to appeal to everyone because uh, I think Bill Cosby said it best. You know, I don't know what the secret to success is, but the secret to failure is trying to appeal to everyone. And uh, if they like me, they like me, and if they don't, they don't. That's part of being an artist. I started off in the open mics in San Francisco. I started off at a laundromat that had an open mic, and uh, which is actually the ideal place for an open mic because no one wants to listen to a comic when he just starts. The people doing their laundry have no choice but to listen. I finally moved up to the comedy club in San Francisco, which was the punchline. And now I travel all over the country. Uh, 4.5 billion years ago, we saw the formation of the Earth uh, from the explosion and collapse of the star uh, that subsequently became our sun. One billion years after that, 3.5 billion years ago, we start to see the very first fossils in the fossil record, uh, which are assumed to be some form of anaerobic bacteria. Uh, 3.4 billion years ago, Larry King hosts his first talk show. <laughs> It's been great talking to you. It's been great talking to you, Barry. And I can see that your act has the seal of approval. Yeah. <laughs> Our thanks to the Central Park Zoo and to Dr. Tim Lee. If people want to know about your upcoming shows, where do they reach you? Uh, you can find me at youtubecomedian.com. It's got my schedule, and you can get in touch with me if you want to. There you go. And I'm Barry Mitchell, and you're watching Science and You.